Recently, the ruler of Dubai, Al Maktoum, who is 64 years old, while appointing his cabinet, he appointed a 27-year-old person. Who is 27-year-old in this house? Someone is 27. Just stand up. 27 years of age. That's 27. Just stand. That's 27. These people, even if they stand for MCAs, they'll not be elected in some places. Because they'll be told you are too young. But he has appointed a 27-year-old person to be minister for artificial intelligence. What? Artificial. Repeat it again. What? Artificial intelligence. In Kenya, we are still quarreling over BBI. Other countries are appointing ministers for artificial intelligence. You know why? Because that is where the world is going. With us, we are thinking about 2022. When people are thinking about 2117, that people from Dubai, the Emiratis, how can they live on mass? By 2117. A hundred years from now. That's what they are working on. With us, we are not even thinking of 2050. We are only, our vision goes up to 2022. Vision in Aisha. That's what I'm telling you. Africa is not poor. But Africans are poor because we cannot think ahead of the next general election. You understand why I'm challenging you? Uh, hello? And you know, this thing you may laugh at the politicians, yet we are in it. We are also just in that same place. That's why this young man is saying, if you are just, you are, if you are not planning for your grandchildren, you have no vision. If you are not planning for a hundred years ahead, your vision is too small as an individual. Transformers like Abraham, they got a vision. Can we talk now? Now I'm going to start preaching. Can we talk now? The Bible says he got a vision. Of a city whose founder and builder was God. Are we together now? You'll find that story in Hebrews chapter 11. He got a vision of what? A city whose founder and builder was God. Because of that, he left a physical city where he was living, Ur of the Chaldeans, and started going to that city that he saw in a vision. And the Bible says he died without getting there physically. But... He gave it to his son Isaac, who walked with the same vision, and he died before he got there. He gave it to his son Jacob, who walked with the same vision. He died before he got there. He gave it to his son Joseph. Even though he was sold in slavery, he still knew my great-great-grandfather had a vision that is running our family. Are we together, friends? Because of that vision, 70 Jews entered the country of Egypt. Joseph was already there ahead of them. He put them in the land of Goshen. He was not a fool. He was separating them from the Egyptians. And after 400 years, over 2 million came out. Their language was intact. Their religion was intact. Can I'm talking to somebody here. They still had a what? A vision of a city whose founder and builder is God. Can I continue? And Joseph tells his people, the Lord shall visit you after I am dead. And he shall send you another prophet. In other words, my great grandfather was a prophet. My grandfather was a prophet. My father was a prophet. I've been a prophet to Pharaoh. But another prophet is coming who shall take you out of here. When he comes to take you out of here, don't you leave my bones in this place. There is a place I'm supposed to go. I want to go to that place. That's when you are talking about spiritual intelligence now. You are not only intelligent in the palace, you're not just intelligent with finances, but you are also spiritually intelligent. You can be able to interpret the times and the seasons. 
in view of what God is saying to your generation. Am I talking to somebody here? And for those 40 years, as they even carried the Ark of the Covenant, they carried a box with the bones of Joseph. That reminded them that they were slaves. But they were no longer slaves. They were colonized. But we are no longer colonized. Talk to me. You might have been a slave in the past, but now you are no longer a slave. Don't allow slavery to, to, to determine your future. Don't allow colonization to determine our future. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we can be transformed in our thinking and become transformers.